Welcome, welcome, you guys. This is Tessin Drop. I decided to give this a shot. If you've not heard about this, this is... There's a mod for Hoi 4 called Kaiserreich. And in this mod, it's like an alternative reality where the Germans actually won World War I. And it completely changes the game. The, the, the countries, the alliances, the factions... It's all completely changed, and the game is actually, like, enjoyable. It's no longer the uh, sit around until World War II starts, and then actually fight, and then we win. There was, like, three or four years of nothing for, like, a lot of people, but now it's so much more interesting. I've done a few campaigns in this, and it is really, really awesome. So, uh, this is not a tutorial campaign, so... I'm not going to treat it as such. Even though I did just explain everything like that, I'm not going to be completely, uh, like, holding your hand. I'm assuming some of you have played Hoi 4, at least. So I'm going to be playing as the United States, trying to keep the country together. And I've watched... I've played the game a lot, and there's always a civil war in America. And I always see the United States losing. Sometimes they elect uh, Douglas Arthur to, like, take over the uh, country, like a military dictatorship. But even st even then, they always seem to lose. I'm going to try to win the Civil War as the United States. So, I checked historical AI focuses. I don't know if that does anything. I checked regular because I think veteran actually negatively affects this mod. The, uh, the minus political power gain really fucks up this mod. It makes it really, really difficult. So I'm going to pussy out and not have it on. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to start and see how things work out, shall we? So. Uh, fighting a land war in Asia. Well, good luck with that. Um, okay. Okay. Let's shift click this. I <laughs> have five units. Uh, you're in Washington, San Francisco, Denver. You're outside of Denver? No, you're like almost on the Mexican border. And you're in the Panama. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. I'm just going to give you guys a garrison order. No, fallback line. Just. Take Washington and the airport in Baltimore. That's it. Let me give you a dude. Out of supply, no. Uh, no, I don't want a fail marshal. I don't really. So, you are a river attack dude. Out of supply. Artillery attack. I think that's new. I've not seen that. Hmm. So yeah, out of everybody here, there's either going to be the engineer or this guy. And I kind of like this. Do I have artillery? I have support artillery. Uh, okay. Whatever. So, uh, let's see. Air Force. Let's just get you all to Baltimore then. Navy. Uh, I'm not that concerned about the Navy, to be honest. So you guys, just merge up. Hawaii, merge up. Uh, you guys, merge up. And yeah, let's just do the standard start here. Yep, and yep, and we have actually four research slots. I could start on Doctrine then. Mm. The thing is, I'm going to need something very defensive. I'm going to have to hold the line for quite a while, so I'm thinking Grand Battle Plan. So we got Defense, Organization, we got Max Entrenchment. We got some stuff over here. Ah, oh, but then we don't get any more defense, do we? This is tanks, no. No, organization is nice. 
motorized max planning. Uh, so basically, <laughs> it's just this one and increases defensiveness. Uh, not sure. Max entrenchment is a little bit there. Supply consumption, tanks, max planning. No. Nope, not liking any of that. Do I just go superior firepower? Oh, there we go. Defense plus 20%. Yeah, superior firepower it is. Let's take a look at my factories. I got seven. What do I need? I can't see. I guess all my divisions are... Well, I'm going to need a lot of infantry equipment. A lot of it. Because I reckon I'm going to be losing a lot of my factories when the Civil War starts. Do I just... Like, for defensiveness, I want support equipment. I want to get engineer squads and everybody. So let's just do it like this. Nah. Yeah. I'll try to get an engineer on all of my dudes here. But let's see here. You guys have the garrison dudes. Ugh. You've got... I don't think I have any artillery to change you into this. Is that the only squads I have available? Yes, they are. Marines, though. Oh, they're really small. I'm going to turn these horses into garrison dudes. I will gain some infantry equipment from that. I don't need the horses right now. But the garrison ones will have extra defensiveness. Uh, the dockyards... Uh, I'm not that worried. Let's just unpause. We're going to get the Kaiserreich event. Let's go to speed four, shall we? Thank you, Kaiserreich team. Great job. And just major events. Thank you. So, my navies should be merging up. Yep. And you guys, just go and patrol Hawaii. And we have free civilian factories. I'm just going to try to hold Washington at all costs. And do I have any national decisions for infrastructure? I want to check that first. Huh. I kind of want to go General MacArthur, to be honest. I want to go General MacArthur. Uh, that's not infrastructure. Civilian... The American war economy. I don't see any infrastructure anywhere. Unless it's buried in one of these. I don't see any infrastructure. There we go. Uh, no, it's not even infrastructure. It's got the icon for it. But there is no infrastructure. And it's also in the fair deal one. This is only if I manage to prevent the civil war. No. Monroe Doctrine. Yeah, so there's no infrastructure there. So I'm just going to bump up Maryland to maximum. Oh, I got one factory. What am I worried about here? So, Dockyard's not worried. You guys are moving. America in 1936. I haven't actually read this. Uh, the United States in 1936 stands in crisis. The United States was able to escape in the First World Creek, which allowed the, its prosperity to continue well into the 1920s. However, the victory by the German Empire and the French and later British revolutions would lead to the Wall Street crash of 1925. This sent the um, United States into the Great Depression and allowed this Berlin stock market to take its place in the world. The election of Herbert Hoover in 1928 showed promise of fixing America. However, Hoover was unable to fix the problems of the Depression. This has fueled the rise of radical parties in America from the combined syndic syndicates of America on the far left and the Mar American First Party on the far right. 
the fact that Hoover won re-election by the House of Representatives in 1932, and the fact that the Great Depression isn't over means that the problems do not look to be going away soon. Many throughout the country fear that disaster will happen should one of the extreme parties come into power. Well, I don't want them to come into power. So we're going to have to... Well, it's going to happen. Civil war is going to happen. We are on very low stability. We're going to need to... Yeah, we're not running as national focus. I can't run any right now. So we're gaining 1.4 every day. That's good. I'm going to crank it up to speed 5 for a bit. Just to let things run here. Get my units into position. Um, let's see. Navy. You guys are patrolling this side. Atlantic. You guys are going to patrol... All this. And you guys... West Coast. You're gonna patrol just the west coast. I should probably assign you some dudes. Re retreat decision, no. No. Capital ship armor. I got carriers on this. Do I have a carrier, dude? I do. Yeah. Let's see, you have nothing but that, so we're gonna have you have the retreat, dude. You're, is, you're kind of weak. You have a lot of battleships, so let's give you Ironside. Yeah. Beautiful. I kind of want army experience as fast as I can, so let's just start you guys training. I know it's going to waste some uh, infantry equipment, but I really, really need army experience. I need to tweak these divisions as fast as I can. They are not that good. Uh, oh, we're losing artillery. Well, shit. Hmm. I guess I could just train you guys. That should be enough. For something, at least. I don't want to have a equipment deficit, but apparently if I can't build any artillery, maybe I can get some more war factories. Uh, military factories, maybe. Let's go to speed 5. Let's at least finish the first month, shall we? Uh-huh. Public works. Looking outwards. Yeah, it has historical focuses on, so... Oh, increase in stability. Black Monday. Yeah. So we got two factories now. Beautiful. Naval reorganization program. Yeah, this always fires. They never win, though. Thank you. Thank you for that. Did I lose my factory? No. Okay, let's see here. Many in America feared the worst when Vice President Charles Curtis, Curtis presum presumptive Republican nominee, okay, to succeed President Hoover, suffered a heart attack earlier this morning. The White House now has finally announced that the White President is slowly recovering. Curtis would be the first president of the Native American ancestry, but his poor health seems to be a dark omen for the end of the Harper uh, Hoover administration. So if this guy managed to... Um, the fair deal here. Charles Curtis. So, that's fine. The premiere of the Charlie Chaplin new movie, Modern Times, is attended in New York by Jack Reed, Marce Marceau Pivert, and Philip Snowden. Uh... <laughs> well, whatever. Battle of the Overpass. In Detroit, Michigan, the automotive capital of the world, Walter Luther and Richard Frankenstein, Steen, leaders of the United Auto Workers Association, called a general strike against the Ford Motor Company and proclaimed themselves for unionism, not Fordism, demanding the higher pay and less hours for automotive workers. At 2 p.m. today, a photographer from the Detroit Free Press asked to take a photo of the leaders of the UAW 
standing on the overpass with the Ford sign in the background. While they were posing, a group of 40 men from the Ford's service department approached them from behind and began to beat up on them with their batons. The group then continued to attack on some of the beret-wearing women present to pass out leaflets. Oh, those assholes. You're not helping the cause here. Shit, you just beat up people? You think that's going to solve things? Dude. And, <laughs> well, that was short. That did not last long, did it? I got one army experience. Uh, our ideology has grown. So I can bump up my popularity by 3%. I really need my political power. I'm sorry, dude. Even 25 was... I need a lot of it. I am so, so negative. I cannot afford this. So we are at one. So I was thinking if I uh, create a duplicate of this division and just take out the support artillery. Yeah. Oh, remember the Alamo. Oh. Republic of Texas. Well. Trans Picos. The St. Patrick's Day Flood. Uh, warmer than usual temperatures led to the melting of the large amount of snow and ice on the upper. I have no idea what that is. The river and their tributaries had already been over their banks and were now threatening the city of Pittsburgh. On March 17, the waters reached the flood stage of 25 feet. Overnight heavy rain caused the waters to rise even higher. And on March 18, the water peaked at about 46 feet. 21 feet above the flood stage. Wow. Okay. Of course we're going to help them. Why would I not help them? Pittsburgh. Uh, okay. Uh, is, is it because they're like... Th this is going to be the uh, communist or syndicalist nation. So I should not help them because of that? So this is Pittsburgh. Oh. Electronic mechanical engineering. Let's get this. Hopefully I can get my doctrine before the war. How is it going here? Having a all battalions get 20% soft attack bonus is huge. Uh, following the German intervention in China and the Treaty of Nanjing signed in November of that year, foreign trade was left to the richest cities of the coast under a joint control of world powers owning interest in China. The independence of these consortium of cities was guaranteed by the major local and international powers, such as the Qing Empire, the algo ost -Aisian, uh, a lot of these, Japan, Australia, Canada, United States, and Germany, foreign investments and adjacent cities, legation cities, themselves flourished not only through foreign trade, but also thanks to smuggling. Despite ongoing economic crisis, our investment in legation cities is still bringing us grand profit. Nice. Thank you. Consumer goods factories minus five. Oh, did I get another factory? No. I'm not. I'm actually not building anything right now. Uh, that an Indian Citizenship Act be passed, effectively elevating all indigenous people of the United States from second class citizens to full citizenships. Yeah. Of course. Oh, it gives me. Oh, why would I ever say no to that? And we got the stability to increase. And we have seven factories. Nice. And the Great Depression is slowing down the build rate. Really? Construction speed minus 20. Wow, shit. Well, we're getting a lot of political power right now. If we get below 50, like between 50 and minus 50, that's like default stability. Ooh. This is Union of Britain stuff. The Maklik declared war on Mongolia. Well, I think Mongolia is going to win that, I'm afraid. Can I get to some more? So I got a thousand infantry equipment in reserve. That is not enough. Not enough for a war. We need a lot more. And support equipment, we got 50. Shit. Basic machine tools. Let's... Um, The thing is, I like the retention. Because every time you upgrade, it like resets the 
the cat the thing so max factory is in a state plus 20 that's the same dockyard output is the same so you basically trade five percent factory output for a huge amount of bonuses uh, which i am a fan of yeah con uh, diverse dispersed industry it is It's kind of a slow start. Well, it's May. We haven't even finished the first year. Uh, what is this? Two immigrants from Italy, Sacco and Vanzetti, have been accused of killing a guard and paymaster of a local bank in Braintree, Massachusetts, a town outside of Boston. The case has quickly become the trial of the century for Sacco and Vanzetti are anarchists. Unsurprisingly, the CSA has come out strongly in favor of the two men, while the American first has come out against them. Uh, let's see here. The CSA, these are the communists. And America first. Uh, these are the assholes. They're both assholes. Well, let's see here. I'm going to lose political power anyway. So it just makes everybody else more popular. Um... And also, it pisses off Socialist Republic of Italy. Well, they're socialists, so let's piss them off, shall we? Uh, well, this is not going to drop to zero any, anytime soon, is it? We're going to continue to get events like that. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to create two of these. So this is run by the Atlantic Destroyer Fleet. Uh, no, let's do it like this. Let's get some cruisers and destroyers for that. See if we can hang on to that because I think, like a lot of the navy, like betrays us. They switch sides, but hopefully the Atlantic fleet or some of it stays behind. We'll try to squeeze out a few of these ships. We're getting eight and four a year. I really don't want the cruisers though. I'm not sure how many submarines we're gonna need. The Great Heat Wave of 36. A heat wave has struck the continental United States and Canada, the most severe heat wave in modern history of North America. Uh, this comes in a time of major political unrest, with the American First Council a major force in Midwest politics and socialist and syndicalist mobs and militia gatherments gathering arms in the Great Lakes region. The drought is continuing, and over 3,000 reported deaths have been linked to it. Oh. Many people are suffering from heat stroke and heat exhaustion. Farmers across the continent saw their worst harvest on record. Ooh, god damn it, more! Ugh. Give me political power, you asshole. I really want some political power here. <laughs> We're not gaining a lot of experience here, are we? Ooh. The death of Alexander Berkman. The leader of American anarcho-syndicalist movement and would-be assassin Alexander Berkman passed away after losing his battle with prostate, a prostate condition. What is a prostate condition? Uh, Wilnius, Lithuania. He was the leader of the syndicalist movement in the Americas and the movement suffers a major setback with his departure. Oh, Jack Reed. Oh, yeah, I remember him. He's the uh, syndicalist asshole. So let's get the... 1918 tech the high tech of 1918 not 18 years uh like it's 18 years behind schedule gone with the wind uh, oh it's based on the movie or the book my dear i don't give a damn where if we're like, I think we got close into a negative 100. Oh, give me the more. Independence Day. 20 political power. Oh, my. We're going to drop below 100. What a glorious milestone. 
Can we get to 50? If you can get to 50, I can get rid of this. We can go to just average stability. Which means no negatives. Uh, Edward VIII sends a letter to Hoover. With rising instability in the US, the new king of British Empire... Yeah, I remember that. Decided to send a private letter to President Herbert Hoover. While the media don't know the contents of the letter, it's speculated the king warned the president that in case of choosing the radicals, Canada and her allies will need to take drastic measures. Ew. And I got minus stability again. Am I going to have to fight you? I know you're weak. I played Canada before. Yeah, you got nothing here, dude. He's got nothing. He is in, an, he is in a faction. But... He is the strongest one there. Like, the Kingdom of France are weak. India is weak. Caribbean Federation is weak. I don't even know about Australasia. I never even fought them in this mod. I think they're weak. They have to be weak. So you guys are now regulars. Which is nice. Should I train one more of you? It's only cost 600 infantry equipment. How much do I have? 2,000. If I make three more of you, just put you in Maryland. Yeah. No, join here. No commander. Oh, I don't, I don't have a mission for you. Uh, nee, nee. There we go. Now I should be able to link you to this. There we go. I'm just doing it so I can get some army experience, man. Okay, I'm at 5 right now. Can I change anything drastically? I can make 20 combat width. Which I think I'm gonna do. And now you're at least a proper... I, I want to add a engineer company to get the entrenchment bonus and defense bonus. But I think we're fine. Next. We need 10 more. For that. Oh, hey, we're below 50. Oh, the Great Heavy is over. Oh my god, we're gonna get default stability. Come on. Give me give me the event. Give me the event right now. Come on. Seriously, come on. I guess not. Looks like we're gonna have to hit a zero, because it's not changing. Oh, we got the tech. We got it. We got we get new tactics. And defender tactic damage. So this is a defender attack. Which is nice. And this is an attacker. Yeah, so the delay tactic is gonna help a lot. Oh, day in September. The social and political consensus in American society has broken down and the current presidential election campaign is like nothing we have ever seen. The American First Union Party is organizing right-wing militias in the South and Midwest. Syndicalist controls the streets of Chicago and Detroit. To avoid a complete breakdown of our society, some of our senior military commanders believe that it's maybe necessary to suspend the Constitution and cancel the election. Oh, this is what I want! Invite the military to step in to save the country. Boom! Am I now Douglas MacArthur? Oh yeah. Can we do a focus now? Oh my god, we can do a focus. Uh, destroy domestic enemies. Protector of democracy. Hmm. The worst is over. The worst is over. 10, 10, 10, 20. Okay, so... This effectively does the same thing, but are we going to protect democracy? Because I don't really want to. Let's go here. Ah, it's gonna be fun. The end of American democracy. Aww. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh, average popularity. That is the popularity of our group is at 45. Military junta. Beautiful. And now the guys are going to be pissed about this, and they're going to revolt. And I might have to stop training. 
Increase in stability. Ah, oh, we're at normal. Average stability. And we're almost done with the infrastructure. Beautiful. So, also, uh, let's merge you guys up. Uh, send you on a mission. That's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys to just to link up here. Because as long as this does not fall, we're good. Because we have some decently strong stuff here. No, go uh, here. Join up. So we got five garrison companies and three proper infantry divisions. Yeah, Washington is not going to fall. I don't think so. Uh, can I train some more? We're talking... Um, yeah, 600. No, I'm going to save up. Let's save up the rest of the infantry equipment. We're going to have war soon, so... Oh! All three of them completed at the same time. Let's get radios. Uh, I can't get the land doctrine, which is unfortunate. Um, huh. That's just a pickle. I do have planes. I do have planes. I'm not going to be building them, but I have them, so they could be useful. This is not going to be useful. This is ahead of time by a little bit, but this is going to be the most valuable so far. So let's go there. More production cap. Ooh, destroy domestic enemies is over. Declare martial law. 175 political power? Oh my god. Okay, let's get a military factory. Oh my god, look at these factories I have. The crackdown. Uh, move to defeat the groups that have been causing the most problems for the country. He declared a nation, a nationwide crackdown against all movements were seen as being against American democracy. Yeah, crackdown on both of them. Oh, it's going to cost me power. Oh, yeah, crackdown on both, of course. Countrywide crackdown. Declare martial law. Ah, oh, god damn it. Declare martial law. I probably should have read that. Crap. Ooh, martial law it is. So, uh, military factories over here. And I guess I can build one in New York. And I could defend New York. We could build a lot in New York, actually. Um, let's edit this. Can I extend you to Philly? Reed declares the worker state the rise of the CSA. Stand by the Republic. We get 160 political power and we lose manpower. Ooh, shit is going down. Free civilian factory. Oh, we lost New York. Shit. Well, we're going to take it back then, as soon as we can. Hmm. Where do I want to build then? Like, I'm going to lose a lot of the stuff here. I could build anti-air, but I don't want to. I could increase the air base, no. I could build a land fort in Washington. Uh, stand by the Republic. AUS. Oh, I got enough political power. There we go. Civilian economy. What? It's not 5% tension yet. I'll wait. But yeah, I'm going to build a level 3 fort here and here if I can manage it you know what I'm gonna put it above the military factories oh they declared war on me let's go to speed 4 oh they instantly declared war 
I should get some units, I imagine. Cuba seizes Guantanamo naval base. Wait, uh, that's... Where is Guantanamo Bay? Yeah, so they're gonna seize this. Okay. That's fine. Don't need it. I'll take it back there. California leaves the Union. Yeah, fuck off. Right over here. <sighs> Japan seizes Guam. Okay. Ah, uh, high popularity. The Monroe Doctrine has now has been thrown into civil war. Brother fighting brother, and it doesn't look good for the United States. Perhaps it's time to revoke the Monroe Doctrine. Uh, we can no longer protect South America. Um, there was something here about the Monroe Doctrine. The Second American Civil War is over. Or one of the following. Yeah, so either one works. Wow, okay, so... Do I want to continue this? Oh, there's so many pop-ups here. Is there any chance that I fuck up something by doing this? League of American States. Join Germany. Join Entente. No, it seems that I can... I can do this regardless of what I choose to go for. So, we are... Yeah, fuck them. It's America first, Betty. Okay? Territory of Hawaii revolts. Okay, fuck off. National Guard units. Ooh. Oh, we got some units. Volunteer units. Uh, I should probably spend this. We're, we're going to be capped at 50. Part of Navy defects. Okay, part of Navy defects. Part of Navy defects. Second American Civil War. Remove national spirit political crisis. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Ooh! American Civil War National Unity plus 15. That's really good. Combined Syndicates America seed from the Union. Oh, we're going to get 200 political power. I have to spend it now. But let's go partial mobilization. Then. Let's declare on them. Oh, we're up to 400. And Canada seizes Alaska. Bastards. Okay. We are up to partial mobilization. Let's go with deficient defense. Dude. And let's see here. Division organization, recovery rate, fire support, psychology. Man yeah, let's just take organization, dude. So we got two good two dudes here to help defense and organization. Also, 28 divisions. Oh, some of these are normal dudes. What are you? Wait. Really? This is not a new unit. They just... They just copied the one I made. So the extra dude I added to the template is now. I just got an extra dude in all of these divisions. Oh my god, I could have gained so much more out of that. So, these are just militia. A lot of them are, at least. So, I'm thinking... No, let's have... All of you... In your own army. Form a border over here. We're gonna take back Philly as fast as we can. You guys take here. So we got the garrison and the militias. If I wanted to change the militias into garrison, what would it cost? 5,000 infantry equipment. So the militias are really, really bad. But there's 23 of them and I'm not going to have you on that. I'm going to have 
Somebody with entrenchment would be nice. Uh, really? There's nobody here with extra entrenchment. That is garbage. Okay, so we'll take... Uh... Well, what do we take then? Division recovery rate. It's gonna be Douglas MacArthur defending Washington. And then we're gonna have to have you be the attacker. There's a lot, a lot of rivers there. I'm gonna take you. So, I'm gonna have you... I'm gonna abandon, like, the mainland here. And just go to Washington. As long as I hold Washington, I think I'm good. Everybody's gonna move there. Beautiful. So, plan is simple. I take back this. I'll have a lot of industry then. And then slowly, because a lot of the industry is over here. This is like the main industrial heartland. So if I can take this back slowly, then I can take back everybody else. Because the industry over here is just garbage. Well, comparatively. So let's make an attack plan. Just to take Philly. That's all I want. Oh. Oh, we got French volunteers. Thank you. Uh, why occupies Midway, Wake, and other Pacific Islands? Don't care. We got even more dudes. Oh, we got one more dude. You join this. Thank you. So, yeah. The Civil War. Oh, well, tension has increased. Second American Civil War. The New England National Guards. What? Canada seizes New England. Well, you know. Fuck it. <laughs> it's suicide, but let's do it. Enemies, St. Louis bound. The city of St. Louis is still loyal. Our government. Okay, that's a typo. However, tensions are brewing with the population reportedly being split evenly among loyalists, syndicalists, and firsters. The city is only weakly defended by police forces, though nearby reserve forces could be mobilized. We're now getting reports that our enemies are mobilizing an expedition to take the city by force. Where is St. Louis? Uh, Lou... Is St. Louis. Oh, they can't take St. Louis. So I lose manpower, I don't care. I lose political power. I have spent all the political power I need. Send the military. Are they called in the Kingdom of France? Yeah, whatever. They're not going to help you much. Oh, more militia. You're going to join the garrison. Once I take Philly, I'm going to extend this defensive line towards that. I hope all my troops get across here. I have more planes. Beautiful. Is that all my planes? Well, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so they're there. Let's group you up and tell you to do the same. Okay, let's see here. After several days of hasty preparation, we're now, un we're now getting unclear reports out of St. Louis Stating that some kind of battle is taking place. Ooh, they won! I'm guessing there's a chance we could have lost that. But we got our political power back. And we got some more militia. Beautiful! But now we're going to abandon St. Louis. So, I'm going to have you strategically move. Strategic redeployment. Just get over there. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of naval battle, but uh, I'm not that worried. So now that I am in position, almost, I'm missing one dude. Should I wait for my delay tactic? No, it's, a, it's 180 days. Let's, uh, actually, let's pause here. So... War has started. It's December, 11th of December of 1936, and the war has started. We declared war on quite a lot of people, and it's going to be a tough battle. But 
I think as long as I don't lose Washington, we're gonna be fine. And seeing as Canada, I just have to like, like if I form like a circle here, take Ottawa and Montreal, I can actually just hold them back because they don't have a lot of troops, like 23 troops. So yeah, we'll see how this war ends up and going, but I could lose this. There's always that potential. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya.